All right, what's going on, guys? So uh, the Dolphins have made yet another move to improve this offensive line, and I think it's really, really smart decisions that the Dolphins are making now. So uh, this time the Dolphins are picking up uh, the center Ted Karras. Now, Ted Karras played for the New England Patriots last year. He started 15 of their 16 games. Um, he started in their postseason game as well, uh, and he played very, very well-disciplined and smart, good football. So I like this pickup for the Dolphins. Uh, he was a sixth-round draft pick in 2016, I believe. So correct me if I'm wrong there, but uh, I know he was a, a bit of a later pick. Um, didn't get a, an opportunity to start a full season until this last year. And through last year in starting, uh, he gave up two penalties uh, for, I, I believe, like a combined seven yards or something like that and only gave up one sack. Now, uh, what I like about that is Brian Flores is setting a trend to pick up disciplined guys. We're not going to pick up guys who are uh, prone to giving up uh, a lot of penalties, you know, stupid plays that are just going to give the other team, you know, tons of yardage and, you know, put us in a harder position to win. Uh Picking up guys like Ted Karras solidifies this offensive line. It helps us grow, um, I think, into a more uh, disciplined and well-rounded offensive line. I really like this pickup. I think it's a smart decision. Uh, we got Karras on a one-year, $4 million deal, so kind of like a prove-it deal. Show us what you can do on this team. Um, he's replacing Daniel Kilgore, who we decided not to pick up the option on. Uh, so it's a cheaper option. It's a younger option. And frankly, it's just a better option altogether. So we'll see if uh, Ted Karras plays good football this next year. I would expect the Dolphins to extend him to a longer deal, considering that he is a young player um, and he can clearly play some solid and consistent football. So another Patriot is joining this Dolphins team and I'm sure will make a very, very big uh, impact on this offensive line come day one of him starting on this team so uh, I think it was a great pickup and one other thing that I wanted to mention to you guys uh, that I almost forgot to say the Dolphins have made a lot of moves in free agency here I think they've picked up a total of nine guys in free agency and yet they still have the second highest total in uh, cap space uh, to spend still in free agency or to save and hold on to that, I think, speaks to the Dolphins are making moves to improve this team. They're picking up uh, a decent amount of guys. They're picking up key positions, uh, areas of need, and addressing all of the needs that they think they need to in free agency while they are still maintaining that draft capital. Or that, sorry, excuse me, not draft capital, uh, uh, cap space. So the Buccaneers are looking like they've got the, the number one cap space in the league right now. And the Dolphins are just a couple million dollars short of them. So uh, the Dolphins are making moves, saving their money, spending it wisely, and we're picking up good players in the process. So let me know what you guys think of all these moves down below. Let me know what you think of Ted Karras, if you think that he's going to be a good addition to the team, and we'll talk about it for sure. So hit that bell notification, guys. Also be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you got to do to help this channel grow. So appreciate you guys watching, and as always, fins up.